In a previous video, I showed you the deconstruction of this HO scale layout. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I recovered and saved some of the turnouts. These are all Pico Code 83 turnouts. Uh, so they are fairly robust and they weren't too hard to save. And so essentially what I'm just gonna do is because these are all glued down, um, I am going to just soak this whole area with rubbing alcohol and that'll help uh, loosen the, the adhesives in there uh, as well as just uh, the glue that was used with the ballast. I don't remember exactly what's underneath the ballast, if it's a cork road bed or what it is, um, but I know the track was glued to that first, probably using caulk or something like that. Um, and then, you know, the ballast and glue was put down on top of there. So I'm not sure how easy it'll be to get up. Um, alcohol does usually help loosen most adhesives. So we'll try to do that first, uh, let that soak for a while and all the turnouts and then come back later and try to get those uh, loosened up. So to help with that, I'm just gonna take some rubbing alcohol. Um, it's from a big bottle, put it in a spray bottle to help uh, spray the area down that I want to uh, try to loosen up. And what I'm gonna to have to do as well is on, since all these uh, turnouts were soldered um, to the surrounding track, especially since it's all flex track on a curve, um, they all had to be soldered. And so um, I am gonna to have to go through and come back with a Dremel uh, probably and uh, cut the track near the rail joints to uh, actually be able to pull out these, uh, these turnouts. So I'm gonna soak everything really good here first. I'll probably come back and, and uh, soak some of these other turnouts again um, a second time when I'm actually ready to pull them up. And uh, hopefully uh, that'll be, hopefully that will allow me to actually get these things up without too much damage. Um, not really too concerned about it. If I damage them, I'll, I'll just chuck them. Um, but uh, you know, since they, these are the more expensive parts, obviously of the track, I'm gonna try to save uh, what I'm able to save. Okay, so while that's soaking, I'm gonna go ahead and with my Dremel, uh, go ahead and cut through these rail joint areas, uh, staying just on the side of the joint um, away from the turnout so I don't damage the track on the turnout if I can help it. I'll have to come through, I'll have to come through at a later time and try to remove the solder and that kind of stuff, but um, you know, I'm not gonna worry about that in this go around right here. Um, I'll just worry about that if I actually go ahead and reuse these turnouts at some future time. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and spray these down one more time. I'm gonna start with these turnouts over here and then uh, worry about the curved turnouts later. Uh, since those are more expensive, I wanna kind of practice on the cheaper turnouts first if I can. I do have a wire attached here I need to cut. And one down here. But for the most part, you can save these relatively easily. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use this blue container, um, put all the turnouts in here, fill this up partly with water, add some alcohol to it, and uh, let it soak. And then I can come back later with a brush and clean them off. Okay, so you can see uh, they were soaking in the water here. We're already seeing the ballast um, kind of coming off. And I'll let this soak probably for, uh, just while I'm working on the, on the layout, so it might be an hour or more. Um, and then I'll come back with a brush and try to get as much off as I can, um, get them dried off really good, and then store them. And then uh, if I do need to use them down the road, I can kind of finish with any last minute cleanup and you know working on, working on getting solder off and that kind of thing. But I uh, want to get them at least in pretty good shape first before I go ahead and put them in storage. Okay, so now that the track has been soaking for a while in the water and alcohol mix, I can go ahead 
and try to brush the uh, ballast and remaining glue off. Um, and I have a couple of this different a toothbrush and another brush that uh, I'll be using to do that. Okay, so you can see this one's pretty clean now. Um, there's just a little, maybe a few little bits of ballast here and there. Um, but, you know, I'll give this a, a rinse off with a sprayer and um, it'll be pretty much ready to go, um, you know, for, for using on a, on a future layout. Uh, I'll make sure I dry this really good and then store it um, in a place, you know, that'll, that'll keep it dry and safe and everything. But uh, for the most part, you know, again, it's just a matter of how much time you want to put into it. Um, and whether it's worth your time to actually go ahead and save the turnouts, but uh, uh, I'm definitely going to save these that I have here and uh, hopefully eventually use them on a later layout. So anyway, once things were fully cleaned, I went ahead and uh, just let them dry for a few days on some paper towels, make sure all the moisture was uh, you know, fully uh, dried up before I went ahead and stored them. And then I just used uh, an old box that I had that was actually uh, originally contained a laptop battery that I had uh, purchased, uh, but, but it had some nice padding in there. So I just arranged the turnouts in there nicely, uh, put the padding on top, closed the box, labeled it. And now these turnouts are ready to use on a future layout project. So anyway, that's all for now. Thanks for watching. Bye.